Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite spin off games. I love video games. Uh, I love the main series of video games, and some of those series actually become so popular and become such a great thing that they have spinoffs um, where it's just either uh, some sort of uh, secondary character getting their own game or the entire cast uh, spinning off into a new direction or any number of things like that. And um, when I was going through and doing research for this episode, I found out that I like a lot of spinoffs. I mean, I a lot of spinoffs. So let's let's stop dilly dallying around and let's get right into it. First up, Final Fantasy Tactics 1998 by Squaresoft. Okay, waiting for you to roll your eyes. Um, yeah, I know. I love this game. This game brought me back into gaming when I kind of strayed away from it for a while. Um, I, I'm I'm just gonna let the you know footage roll for a, a little while. Stop. Or Twitter. Is. Well, okay. So next up, we have Luigi's Mansions. The, the whole series, um, on the GameCube, the 3DS, and on the Switch. Uh, this has become a massive, massive successful spin-off series. It's made, uh, I think, like, the first one is 2001 by Nintendo, and, man, um, it takes Luigi, it puts him in 3D, it gives him, uh, a decent storyline, um, with... Great goals and great mechanics. Uh, it, it's it's tongue in cheek and a little bit kitty like like Mario games should be. Nothing too terribly serious. And it's great. Uh, hunting down the ghosts were great. Just take the time, go through. There's a reason why this one spinoff series has three games, and. I'm pretty sure any three of the games will be able to prove that to you relatively quickly. All right, next up, Mario Kart started back in 1992 on Nintendo. Uh, this was one of the first times I saw Mario venture off, you know, into something other than Super Mario. Uh, and I love it. It's great. I remember great fun times with friends, battling it out. Um, we never raced that much. It was mainly battle mode. It was the, the, the versus mode that we did the most of the time. But uh, the whole series is great. And it was like a... There are, there are like eight games now, and that's, that's not including deluxe variations or anything like that. Um... Maybe there's more games than that. Uh, I think I'm... I think, like, Mario Kart DS doesn't really count as one of them. But um, Mario Kart 8 is the latest rendition, and it's out on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, it's... the deluxe edition is on the Switch. Um, it's great. They're always a lot of fun, and, you know, just, just give them some time. Speaking of Mario... We're going to move on to Mario Sports Games. Um, I think the first ones were starting in 1991, again, by Nintendo. Uh, I want to say it was Mario Tennis. I could be wrong, let me know in the comments below. Um, but all of the Mario Sports games, very low entry level, very family friendly, uh, parents playing with kids kind of thing, and it's great. Uh, you know. My, my favorite happens to be uh, Mario Super Sluggers on the Wii, but uh, I think all of them are great. Uh, the basketball game is a little bit weird, but okay. Um, 
I mean, it's, it's just a lot of fun. Like I said, get together with some family members, have a lot of fun, and just count yourself lucky. Um, so, next up, Donkey Kong Country 1994 by Rare. Uh, this is this is actually a spinoff game, although a lot of people would consider its popularity so much so that Donkey Kong Country has now taken over as the primary seat for the Donkey Kong suit. Um, but original Donkey Kong was an arcade game a long time ago, and Donkey Kong Country is very much a spinoff from that. Um, just his from a historical pe uh, perspective. Now, this game is great, and I need to go back and I need to play these again and try to finish them again and stuff. Uh, but there are a lot of people that you know, really enjoyed these games, and it let a company like Rare come out of the shadows and just blow people away with what they could do. So, next up we have Fantasy Star Online. Uh, it was made in 2000 by Sega. Um, Fantasy Star is a very interesting game uh, and in a very interesting series where Sega wanted to do their own RPG that basically had a major conflict with Final Fantasy. And uh, for the most part, they were fairly successful. Um, started off on the Master System and it continued on, but originally it was just a JRPG style of game. Uh, and then uh, the Dreamcast came along and Fantasy Star Online uh, came out and it was this beautiful action RPG with multiple elements and upgrading equipment and all this other stuff. And it didn't have a subscription fee originally. It was great. It came out when uh, a bunch of my friends were moving away, going off to college, going off to other parts of the country. And it was our best way to basically stick together and have as much fun as we could while still being uh, far apart. From Next up we have Mega Man X. 1994 by Capcom. Uh, Mega Man X is um, kind of like an alternate timeline, I guess. I, I haven't really looked too much into uh, the origins of Mega Man X. I really just enjoy the game. Um, maybe I, if you guys can comment sometime somewhere down below and uh, give me a little bit more education on Mega Man X. Uh, but it's definitely way outside the normal Mega Man series, uh, which is, I think it goes up to 11 right now. Um, and I need to go back and I need to play all of the original Mega Man. And I need to go back and I need to play all of the, the Mega Man X series. I think Mega Man X got eight. Um, but I mean, and then I need to play the Zero series and stuff like that. But, Mega Man X was honestly my favorite. Man. I didn't like the original Mega Man too much. It felt very limiting. Um, but compared to Mega Man X, yes, the Mega Man kind of is limiting. But that's my opinion. Um, so let's let's just move on. Uh, Hyrule Warriors to 2014 on the Wii U by Nintendo. I uh, got another re-release on the Switch. I think, yeah, it actually even came out on the 3DS. Um, this is a great game. It is Dynasty Warriors with Hyrule characters. You can play as Link, you can play as Zelda, you can play as... Oh my gosh, um, you can play as Ganon. Uh, Ganon. I don't know, there, there's so many characters, I can't even keep track of there's so many unlocks, and uh, it did a great job. Really, really good job. That's why it's on this list of being one of my favorite spin-off games. I'm hoping they continue the series. Um, 
I know it's not getting as much popularity as Nintendo would want it to have, but keep the faith, guys. Um, keep keep pushing. Come out with Hyrule Warriors 2 and just, just see how far it can go. Next up is the Forza Horizon series starting in 2012 uh, by Microsoft. I know, I know, it's really surprising. I'm actually talking about an Xbox game, a Microsoft game. Um, I started this series with was Forza Horizon 3 on uh, the Xbox One, and this game is beautiful. I've never been to Australia or anything like that, but uh, the scenes are beautiful, the cars are beautiful, the way the game plays. I know it's not a complete simulation game, but it's the closest to a straight-up driving simulation that I've gotten. And this is pretty much, like, within my comfort zone of, like, pushing myself and stuff. So, probably not going to go further into the driving sims. But I've had a lot of fun with this series. Uh, the music is great, although I think it's a little bit like all the copyright issue uh, for streaming and stuff. But other than that, it's, it's just a wonderful... Uh, speaking of copyright issues... Super Mario RPG and the Paper Mario series. Yes, I'm kind of lumping them in together, but the the Mario RPG slash Paper Mario stuff is just great. It started in 1996, I believe. Um, it it was great. Mario in an RPG, and it had action elements in it, and it was a lot of fun, and it was still tongue-in-cheek, but it still had serious elements of an RPG, and I mean, it was best of breed. I mean, let, let's just put it to you that way. It's definitely best of breed. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.